what's up you guys hope you guys are doing okay uh i'm bringing you a new video today this is the long awaited uh next custom video that i've been promising for a long time i just haven't had time to make it but now i do so here it is this is my custom clone wars clone trooper kicks um i made this a long time ago when i mean long i mean like probably seven years at this point these are this was some of the first batch of customs i ever made uh, with the five main clones from the umbara arc which i will be doing uh separate reviews for each one because i've already done my two reviews of my just my regular clone troopers from each legion that i did the 212 and the 501st but now these will be the five 501st clone troopers from the umbara arc and many other uh episodes in the clone wars but to, start, to kick it all off we're going to start with clone trooper kicks the medic so i'm just gonna get a closer look at this guy i'm gonna run you guys through what i did um what sharpie pens i used the technique i used um and everything around it so to start off this figure like i said is probably around seven years old pretty faded it's dirty it's got dust all over it if you really can see if i can get it to focus yeah there you go and the reason why that is is because i've covered this in other videos but it's because of the clear gloss spray paint to seal the paint on to the, the figure part so you can't really scratch it off it still scratches off um, the other ones but for some reason these first five that i did i think i oversprayed them so they really don't come off which is fine but obviously you can see all the collection of dust that gets on this guy but i gotta say this figure looks amazing like for my first ones ever i think these are still probably my best that i've done but i i don't know this design on his chest was very very hard to do it's like super intricate and it wraps all the way around to his back so it's very fine line work on the helmet piece as well ridge of his helmet very cool and then he's got one like random uh rogue blue band just around his um his right leg so i couldn't do at the time i couldn't do the like the real um medic logo in like star wars in general that you see on all like the stuff in the movie and stuff like that so i did the generic uh regular red cross on his backpack and on his shoulder plate proud of it because these are the first ones i've ever made and they still hold up today and i've i haven't seen um many customs of these done this is a basic overview of the figure um, there's not much else to say besides, you know, it took a long time to do, you know, but I gotta say, if you're interested in making customs, I think you guys should, I, you know, I've noticed that a lot of uh, people commenting on the videos, you know, if you feel like, you know, you like them, just get into it, you know, you just gotta try. I just did it randomly and I got into it. And ever since then I've been going strong on it. So it's, uh, it's been cool, but now I'm going to run you through, uh, what, like paint I used. So it's the same method. I used the blue uh, Sharpie. I don't know what that is, but the blue Sharpie fine point oil based pen. Um, sounds like a spray paint uh, can. And I used the red one for the crosses and stuff like that. So yeah, guys, I will just, this is just a showcase and small overview of what the clone is. This is just a regular phase two Clone Wars trooper. Um, nothing special about him but a lot cooler now he's a custom. So that's the video guys. Uh, feel free to leave a comment if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new, all that good stuff. But I will be doing the rest of them. Until then guys, I'll see you later and peace out.